Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Febin Kassoon and for Samantha Jones. Well, cars or wrecks and homicides can be devastating for families and friends, victims leaving them without answers. And tonight we learned that recent cases from the big country like the trial involving the death of correctional officer Marianne Johnson and convicted inmate Dylan Gage Compton, as well as the death of Abilene mother Kendra Kepler and convicted suspect Charles Newman have all been handled by the Tarrant County Medical Examiner's Office, bringing families answers and some closures. Tonight, our Catherine Garcia explains what goes on in the autopsy room in a story you'll only see on KRBC. Thank you, Febin. For unnatural deaths in the big country, victims are sent to the Tarrant County Medical Examiner's Office where autopsies are conducted. Those examinations often providing understanding and closure for those friends and family. Dr. Tasha Greenberg, a medical examiner for Tarrant County, considers her job a puzzle. I would be standing here and using a cutting board when I'm examining the organs and cutting the organs and saving pieces of them in formal and fixative. Um, Through which she can then, put all of the pieces um, the together. We may come up with things that were completely unexpected, that were not identified by police at the scene or um, no hint of that was given by family members who were interviewed. Through forensic autopsies, the Tarrant County Medical Examiner's Office handles unnatural deaths brought in from the public sector, including cases from the big country. Um, behind you are going to be the coolers. So this is where um, the bodies are stored when they first come in. We're not working for the prosecution. We're not working for the defense. We're not working for the commissioner's court. Um, we are working for the decedent and telling their story. That story, if properly told, can make or break a trial. A trial, if it occurs, has everything that it needs to ensure that um, a guilty person is appropriately convicted. Conversely, if uh, someone innocent is charged, perhaps some of the things that we come up with will help to prove that they didn't do it. She says sometimes a trial can be hindered by a concept called the CSI effect, a warped so interpretation of forensics caused by the entertainment industry. We had jurors sometimes basically say, well, we can't convict because there's no DNA. Well, there wouldn't be DNA because this person was shot from you know the length of a football field away. Okay. Greenberg says regardless of a trial, okay, so finding concrete okay. answers okay. isn't always easy. There are times when we really can't find a reason, but it does happen. Um, it's frustrating and we will work very hard and do everything that we can, perform every test we can possibly think of to try to come up with a reason why someone died. And those answers can mean finding peace. I do have a folder where I keep a few wonderful letters and cards that I have received from families of patients who I have examined. There is certainly, um, certainly something for us to offer to families um, when their loved one or their friend dies. A solved puzzle that shows a clearer picture. In Tarrant County, Catherine Garcia, KRBC, Abilene's Local News. Catherine, thank